Uh, Baxter, let's go! New dimension! Oh, wait! The spider just went with me! Wait, yo, where's Baxter? Baxter! It is Cody! I'm trying to use this thing. I will never stop searching for you, Baxter! You are my best friend! Hey there, Lanthians, Cody here. Welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Now today, I'm on version 1.14.4. And guess what? We have some mods. I'm gonna be showing you five mods today that you should have in your Minecraft right now. You can play with your friends and play the latest version of Minecraft. Now, I'm not too, fil too familiar with this version, but I'm gonna get familiar by showing you guys all these epic mods available to you right now. Some people thought there was no mods available, the, the latest version, but there is. The first mod I'm going to show you is the tool belts mod. So we'll craft it by uh, getting some leather, iron ingot, and some string. Now when you're playing with modded Minecraft, you have a lot of mods that add in tools, and you're going to need to get a tool belt. Well, this tool belt isn't like that, you know, impressive. So we're going to actually go to an anvil. We're going to take this tool belt, and we're going to add some extra pouches. So it's going to cost us three enchantment levels. Currently I don't have that, so we're going to cheat a little bit for the sake of the video. Can you add all at once? Uh, you can fill up the entire thing with three, I think, in total. Let's try it again. Oh, no. We can just keep going. Cool. So, uh, let's right-click in the air. So, it looks like it's capped out at five. So, let's just get some more tools. I'll get a hoe. I'll get an axe. Uh, I think I already have an axe. Yeah, crap. A uh, sword. There we go. And we'll fill it all the way up. Not bad. All right. So, now we're going to press V. And we're going to open up the inventory to get the tool belt. Now your keybind might be different. I think I had to set this one. Uh, we're gonna put the tool belt on. Looking pretty fancy, right? Well, we're gonna actually press uh, X now and it'll pull up this UI. You got your iron X, you got your sword, you got your shovel, you got your iron pick. Looks pretty cool, right? But it does stop you from moving. I wish I wish it didn't. Now, if you don't want to have to move your mouse a bunch, looking around for it, you can actually set up a keybind. I don't think it's that helpful. I was kind of hoping that like when you're holding the item in your inventory, you could press like brackets or something and you can switch through the tools that you have um, in your belt. But yeah, cool stuff. That's just a tool belt mod. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, another small mod. We're going to get all these spawn eggs. You might, might be thinking spider spawn egg, pig spawn egg. Cody, these are just normal. Nope. We have the better models mod or better, better animals models. Better animal models. <laughs> Tongue twister here. All right, yes. So look at this thing. He's got some new animations. He's bobbing around. Look how cool he is. He's so interested in the world. Well, we're just going to have to kill him. I'm sorry. I want to see you run. Oops. <laughs> Let's move on to a pig. Oh, my God. He's He's got like a better model, but he's still really cute. Does the tail move? I don't think the tail is moving. But animation's pretty solid, guys. Oh my god, it's so much better. Actually, we need, we need to make this happen. Carrot. Beautiful. Carrot on a stick. This second mod is so epic. I love this. Carrot on a stick. So it doesn't look like the saddle showed up when we used it. Um, but it, I think it definitely has one. Can we get it back, though? Yes, we can. Cool. So let's see the mushroom. Oh my god, look at the tail. The tail should be wagging back and forth, but like, that's just an extra layer of detail. I mean, for Minecraft as it is, this detailed of a model and animations is it's, it's perfect. I like the mushrooms. The mushrooms are kind of like regular Minecraft. They're not 3D or anything. Cave spider. Look at this little creature. Okay. I'm just going back away, with, back away from you. A wolf. Now you can actually use this on any server the server doesn't need to have this mod installed. So you can go on the latest, maybe Hypixel version, and you can have this on. Uh, it is for 112.2 as well, and a few other versions. The wolf, let's tame him. Because I want to see if... Uh, there's so many bones. Oh god, there it is. Uh, I want to see if it changes and adds the collar. Get back! No, don't run away from me! Hey, oh, it does add the collar. So I think the uh, saddle was the only thing missing. Uh, cow pet, or cow spawn egg. Looks very similar, but uh, obviously a different color than the mushroom. A polar bear. Mm. Kind of looks similar to the regular Minecraft. I mean, just extra angles and things like that. Oh, and it's got some, like, fur in the back. Back of his legs. Oh, and under his chin, too. You can kind of see the fur. 
<laughs> this is so sick. This is actually going to tie in with the next mod I'm going to show you in just a moment. The Doggy Talons mod. Squid. Hold. Oh, oh, he looks like a Kraken. Uh, that model is so cool. I want to see him swim, though. Can you... Does he have an animation for swimming? He kind of does. He's, I didn't think you could make a derpier squid, but I think this one does it. It's so perfect for Minecraft. Oh. Sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, and last but not least, the sheep. Yes. The sheep. Very epic. Wait, a baby one. Oh my god, the baby models. Uh, they're pretty much the same, but just smaller, obviously. Can, now, dying them. Oh, does dying them work? Come here, Mr. Shep. It does work. Perfection. All right, so let's move on to the doggy talents mod, and I'm going to get this dog ready to win some Olympic shows, or dog shows. So here's a little puppy. I'm going to actually name him Baxter. Now, Baxter, he's, he's a good boy. Um, not sure what he's doing currently, but I'm going to give him some training treats. Now, this is going to actually make it so he could do some tricks and, well, be actually tamed. So... It doesn't actually change the model for the Doggy Talents mod, the Better Animals models. So we will have to do with what we have. Let's just give them a bunch of treats and we can level them up. Now, once we get to a certain point, we'll have to give them a better treat. These treats are crafted like so. Kind of uh, expensive. Then it gets even more expensive. And then even more expensive. And more expensive. But we can level them up even more. Oh god, you're a bad listener, you know that, right? You just keep going, and you can get him up to a very high level eventually, if you are a very rich Minecraft player, and then use a stick. Come back here. And the stick, you can uh, level up a few things. We can uh, make him a pack puppy. Each level gives your dog three inventory slots. I'll do that. Uh, a guard dog increases the chance that your dog will completely block any physical damage. That's actually probably good to have, because you don't want your dogs dying. I know PewDiePie would want this mod. I mean, Sven, but we don't want Sven dying. Uh, poison Fang, so your dog attacks will poison other targets. That's pretty sick. But we want our dog to be um, maybe a rescue dog. If your dog, if you're at critical health and a dog with this skill is following you, it will attempt to heal you with half a heart. That's actually not bad. Puppy eyes, this skill will cause your dog to warm the heart of any villager, prompting the villager to give you presents. That's actually pretty cool. Let's make him a wolf pet, a wolf mount. And we'll be able to ride him in a battle like Rob Stark did. Uh, roaring Gale. Use the roaring whistle and unleash your dog's inner roar. You know what? We're going to have our dog be a little bit more tamed. Uh, so those are different levels. We're going to actually name him right here Baxter. There you go. You got your name. And we can change the texture of him. So the textures, you can see, different breeds of dogs. I think that would be a German Shepherd. How about you sit? There you go. You stay sitting. And uh, no. There we go. I want to find a beagle. I, oh, there's a pug. Oh my god. Okay, PewDiePie needs this 100%. Comment down below if you think he does. Uh, I think I found a beagle. Nope, that's definitely not a beagle. My dog captain is right next to me. This is my dog, Baxter. You're your own breed. Uh, crap. Yeah, whatever. This one works. Hi, you're a good boy. I, I think I could give him a leather jacket. Yep, just did it. That's pretty sweet. Sunglasses. <laughs> And I think I can change his collar. There we go. Baxter's looking cool. He's going to get all the ladies. Now we're going to set his dog bed, his food bowl, and his water bowl. We're going to put them all kind of like right next to each other. Come over here. Yeah, you, Baxter, no. Don't run away. You're a very bad listener. You know that? So here, let's get a tactical whistle. Uh, command stand. Well, I don't know what stand does. Command heal. Stay. There you go. Okay. Just don't do anything stupid. Uh, we can right-click the food bowl and put some steak in it. It will kind of prep it, ready to go. Maybe Baxter's hungry. No? You're not hungry? Well, we can change his mode here. In this mode, your dog will follow you but not attack anything. Wandering, in this mode, your dog will stay near its food bowl and wait for your next command. Aggressive. Berserker. Wait, Berserker? Hold on. Follows you and if any mob draws near it, they will attack it without warning. Okay, maybe we'll just leave him on docile. We don't want him perishing. Uh, we can also add some more health to him. I forget what uh, particular skill that it would be. I couldn't find that one because uh, I was just looking really quickly. But I found Quick Healer. I'm going to actually level that up a bunch. That way he will uh, he will uh, heal if he takes any damage. So let's kind of test that. Oh, I can't hit him. Maybe friendly fire. Oh, okay. We will have that off. I'm never not sure why you would ever have that. 
But um, yeah, let's play a little game with Baxter. So there's a few things you can throw. We got a throw stick, we got a throw bone, and a chew stick. So, throw stick. Go get it, boy. There you are, Baxter. Come on, run, brother. There you go. Look at him. Oh my god, he's got this stick in his mouth. Good boy. And then we're gonna throw a bone. Now when you get it, it is drooled on. Right click that and uh, it's good to go. You can throw it once again. Now the chew stick, I think he'll just pick it up. Oh. Well, that's cool. Good, good boy, Baxter. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I think you can let your dog be free by using the collar shears on him. Yes. Oh no, the collar shears do not set him free, but they make him um, have no clothes on. I mean, dogs really shouldn't have clothes. My dog hates his thunder jacket, but he hates the thunder as well. So I'm like, dude, which one do you want? Are you scared of the thunder? Or are you scared of the jacket? Which one? <laughs> uh, that command whistle can do a few other things. There is one. Actually, let me get it out real quick. There is one thing that you can do, and you could set it to attack a certain target. The whistle can do a few other things, but I'm not going to go into detail because I only know this one. This one is a tactical one. So if we get a sheep here, we will right click it, and Baxter should attack it. That, there you go. No, you're supposed to attack. Maybe wander aggressive. There you go. Now do it. Baxter, why don't you listen to me ever? Hmm. It must be some setting. He's very happy. His tail is wagging. Now let's move on to the fourth mod that I'm going to show you guys today. There's so much more to this mod, so you should check it out. Links in the description and discover it for yourself. All right, really simple. The gravestone mod. Slash kill. The code member. Boom. Now, I lost all my stuff. Crap. Or did I? So, look right here. The Cody Maverick Overworlds. Date. 2019-08-21. And the location. Negative 76 70 287. And we've used this in a few series for other versions of Minecraft, and it's really great. I mean, we've had a few little bugs with it, but it works out pretty cool. Uh, game mode survival. So, we're going to break this. And we'll get all of our stuff. Now, I kind of wished that the stuff would go back to the way it was. But, hey, I'll take it. It's better than having your items despawn while um, you're running towards it. Anyways, so we're going to take a look at the Midnight mod. This is the final mod I'll show you today, and it is very, very epic. Midnight is setting, so this is perfect timing. All right, so it's very spooky out. It is midnight, or just nighttime in Minecraft. When it's nighttime in Minecraft, you can go by yourself, your friends, or with your doggo, and you can look for the Red Rift. Now the rifts will spawn at night, and there'll be some creatures from that dimension spawning outside of it. But I don't see any right now. Oh crap, one of them just spawned in for me. Okay, well, uh, I, I wasn't finding any, wasn't finding any, and then I kept looking, and it just spawned right in front of my eyes. All right, so there's no baddies spawning outside of it right now, but those little rifters will spawn in. Uh, Baxter, let's go! New dimension! Oh wait, the spider just went with me! Wait, yo, where's Baxter? Whoa. There's the, what, there's one of those rifters. We gotta go. All right, Alicia. What? Does Alicia not work? Or did I just do it wrong? I think I did it wrong. Okay. Oh my God. This dimension is insanely well made. I'm going to go in creative because I'm a little worried uh, Baxter is in trouble. I I'm going to need to find him. Game mode. Please. Creative. There we go. Look at this. There's sounds. It's spooky. Very, very epic. Now, my render distance currently is on 16 chunks. And I don't think that's helping any. There's a certain draw distance that you can expand to. And uh, I think we've reached it. I had to turn down my volume because, it, well, the ambient sounds, ambient sounds are uh, very loud. I have some spawn inks here to show off some of the mobs. So we have the hunter. Looks like this thing flies around in this dimension. It's so majestic. I feel like I'm in slow motion, but I'm, I'm not. We're, up. We're moving at 100% speed. A Nova. Well then. Crystal bug. Look at that. It's kind of cute. A night stag. Oh my god, those look so epic. You look cute. Oh my, what the heck? They're feeding on you. Everything wants to eat everything here. Uh, here's a little stinger. A little scorpion. A de deceitful uh, snapper. So it looks like that has some oceans or 
waters. What the heck is this? Some sort of fungus? A shulk? So these are little invisible things. Oh, that's like a raccoon! Oh, and it's dead. So that's a nasty. I'm gonna stay away from that nasty thing. Uh, this rift could take me home. But I think I want to get a flyby of what everything looks like. And I can't go home. So if I wanted to go home, I could take this rift. But my boy Baxter, he's out here. Somewhere. I need to search for him. Baxter! It is Cody! I'm trying to use this thing. I will never stop searching for you, Baxter! You are my best friend! My only friend. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this Minecraft video. If you want me to show off some more mods, make sure you hit that like button. And also subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss the next time I upload. Thanks for watching, Atlanteans.